Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be creating this beautiful kind of Valentine's inspired look. Now again, it's maybe Nate everybody's cup of tea for Valentine's, but I would wear this for Valentine's Day, I think. It's got a wee bit of pink in it, but I think it's just a wee bit more wearable than pink. It's really nice and sexy and sparkly. I'm obsessed, really glowy, tanned skin. I love it. So if you want to see how I created this look then just keep on watching. First of all I've got a couple of things for you Louise. Some stuff that I have tried i.e. just the base um, and the rest of stuff that I've made. This is the package that it comes in. Oh my god how beautiful is that? Like this is how it comes. Like your address and all that's in the back and it comes like hot so I love it. I think I got like a bundle um yes it's the base essential deal so it's 50 pounds for three color bases three normal bases in two three brushes how good is that vivid violet um winter rose and summer blues the three bases i got was shade two which is the original base that I've already tried um, I've got shade 3 which is slightly darker and then shade 6 which is dark as well so this is the lightest of the darker skin shades um, but they gave this in a 3 because it's meant to be kind of like contour and highlight kind of vibe because it comes with 3 brushes I already used this to put fake tan on so that's why it's um, brown but it comes with this for the contour shade and then these two as well so I think it's a pretty good deal £50 for six bases and three brushes considering these are like £10 each I think so you're getting like three brushes plus a base for free so it's great from Peaches and Cream, also very cute packaging. Um, new pigments, three of which I do not have or have not tried. So I got Hocus Pocus, a beautiful like pinky blue, purpley shade, so nice. That's kind of how it is. Uh, the next one is Fantasy, just literally a pink. Um, it's translucent so there's not much of a base to it, it's literally just the pink flakes of shimmer and then I also got Eden. How beautiful that is. So it's like green with like gold, kind of chromatic through it, look at it. Beautiful! Okay so today I'm going to be doing a little fluffy brow moment instead of the usual um, defined which I would usually do with a full face but I just want to try some different looks so I'm taking the Gilly Cosmetics Brow Jam in Bubblegum Blitz <laughs> that's it gone okay so I'm just going to run that through the brows So if there's any product that gets like stuck, I just kind of like twist the brush kind of like that to make sure that there's product in where I want it to be. And then just getting that nice brow laminated look that I really love so much. So you can see the difference between this and this in. Again, obviously everybody knows that my eyebrows are microbladed. So, so I would brush them up like that and then I'm gonna take the brush and like comb along them. Like so, so it gives that nice brushed up look but without being like massive and fluffy. Now I usually use water with the brow jam, just put a wee bit of water in and that's fine but I just try 
these pigment drops. So the pigment drops for Peaches and Cream are, you mix them with your pigments to make smudge proof eyeliner and body paint. So I thought, if it's kind of, it sets your um, pigments to be smudge proof. So, Charlotte's got a decent <laughs> But it actually has work. I, you can feel that it's set, set in already. And it's nearly got a, doesn't feel like it's got a move or anything like that. So, I'm happy. I'm going to be using the P. Louise base in shade number two to carve out the eyebrow area here. And then on the rest of the lid, I'm going to be using the matte paint one in Lay and Low. I'm just going to quickly spray my face with some Fix Plus. because my face is a wee bit dry after putting some tan on. Now, I've actually nearly ever thought to use two different bases on the eye, but I seen, obviously I said, I watched Gord, Gord George, um, and this is for he recommended to so this is fine by these as well. Stop just there with this. And I'm just going to the rest of that out. Make sure that it's nice and opaque on your brow bone um, shader brush. A chunky one. I'm just going to blend that out to the side. Oh my god, it looks so nice. Wow. So we've got this nice defined arch and then we've just got this little free space at the star that just looks a wee bit more natural. I like that and I'm just going to do the same to the other side. So when you do a little fluffy brow, um, you want to kind of use the concealer as contrast between the colour of skin on your eyebrow bone and then on your actual eyebrow. So you can see because there's this contrast, the colour of my skin that's on my eye, like under my, underneath my eyebrow hair, is going to act as if it's hair kind of thing. It's going to make it appear fuller without actually having to put product on. Does that make sense? And then again, just blending that out with the dense shader brush and the brush that I used to apply that was the 7072 what treat my base brush is by P. Louise. It is a slimmer version if I would usually use. I use quite a wide um a wide brush. Okay so next we're gonna take the Lanlo paint pot and I'm gonna take this on a fluffy brush that same shader brush that I was using the Lux Oliver shader 222 by Jessup and then I'm going to take it off of here and then heat it up in the back of my hand just to make it a wee bit more movable and then I'm going to cover the rest of my lid with it. So that's what our eye base is looking like at the moment. And then we are going to start the eyeshadow. So I'm thinking that I'm going to take a nice purpley, lilac, pinky kind of vibe um, for this look. I'll probably do another Valentine's look that will probably be a wee bit more pinky. Um, and then possibly another rain that's more like neutral kind of vibe with a nice lip and stuff like that. Stacey Marie Carnival 3 palette. I'll be taking the purpley kind of shades for this okay so i'm going to start off with my deepest shade first of all um in the crease and i'm going to be taking a zoeva 221 Lux soft crease brush and i'm going to be taking the shade blackberry which is this purple shade here i'm just going to pack it right on so i'm just that to both eyes, making sure that there's no any skin color peeping through, it's just 
purple. Okay, so that's what we've got so far. I'm next going to start blending up the way up into my eyebrow um, with different colours. So I'm going to take the next colour, it's going to be Tahiti, and then I'm going to go into the lilac after that. Pick up the Tahiti colour, I'm taking a Spectrum B07 brush, and then I'm just going to be working in little circles. And then I'm going to start making this blend. And we, these lighter shadows, there will be a lot of white kind of powder in them and make them lighter. So that sometimes marks your um, your intense kind of base color a wee bit more milkier. So you want to kind of go back and forth between the first color, your second color, and your third color, and um, to make sure that you still got that intensity on your previous color. So once we've got them two colours in, I'm then going to mix the Tahiti with Lilac. So I'm going to take a different brush. I'm going to take a Jessup 221 Luxe Soft Crease Brush, much and such the same as this way by Okay, so that is the blend so far. And I'm feeling I'm feeling quite happy with how that is looking. So I'm gonna do the same on the other eye and then I'll just be back. Okay, so the eye on this side is looking a wee bit patchy in this area, but I'm just gonna put that down to the base being just a wee bit too dry before I put on the first colour, but it's fine because we're gonna be near cut crease anyway, so you won't see it. I am now going to be taking the P. Louise base in the shade Vivid Violet. I'm going to cut crease halfway across the eye and then I'm going to put the Fantasy Pigment on top of that. So I'm just taking a wee bit of that on the back of my hand. I'm going to be taking the MAC 252 brush. So I'm going to be taking that on my concealer brush and then I'm just making sure that the brush is flat on the back of my hand and it's covered in product. I'm going to put a wee bit down here and then I'm going to Look straight ahead and then I'm going to see where it's stamped. So it's stamped there. I'm going to take it slightly a wee bit higher than that because my eyes are quite hooded and I want you to be able to see, see the cut. So. like that and then I'm going to be taking this little a little bullet brush with nothing on it and I'm just going to be blending that concealer in a little bit. I'm going to take that same blackberry shade. I'm going to make sure that the concealer is blended nicely into that like that. And then I'm going to take a wee bit of Pink Lily, which is the brightest pink in the palette. And just popping it on the edge. There, just get a little blend. So I'm going to blend the two bases together so that we've got that bright inner eye and there isn't any harsh lines in anything like that. So that's what we're left with that. And then I'm gonna take the Fantasy Pigment by Peaches and Cream and I'm just gonna pop it over. Oh, purple. 
Oh my god. Can you see that? Wow. Oh my god, I fucking love it. Beautiful. Cool. Okay, so I'll do the exact same thing with the other one. We'll be back in a minute. How we took the blackberry and then the pink lily here is creating this nice kind of like coming out further. But giving us that smoky lash line without us even kind of really trying. So I am just going to be doing a black liner. So it's a Maybelline tattoo liner. And I'm just going to be doing thin line and a kind of swooping out a wee bit and then I'm going to blend the black in. And I'm just pulling it out there and then you can see that I'm kind of using the brush to kind of feather it a wee bit so that it's easier to blend with some black eyeshadow. I'm just gonna use a little bullet brush to blend the liner into the rest. So I'm just kind of like dragging almost, patting and dragging back down the way so that I still keep it where I want to be instead of flicking out and then it's gonna be kind of out of the place and we're not really wanting that. Picking a point and dragging back in towards the lash line. I'm just going to mix the blackberry and the black beach together and blend that in. Oh my god, I love it! So that is the liner blended in. You can literally kind of see it, and I love it. It's one of my favourites. It's fine for people that are not so confident with winged eyeliner as well. Okay, so as both eyes done, I've just wiped it in a nice sharp wing and then we are going to kind of blow the underneath but also join up at the wing as well. Okay, so for foundation, I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty Stick Foundation. Shade Très Léger, I think. And I'm just going to be applying. Oops. Ow! That hurt. And then I'm going to be blending it in with this defined buffer brush. And I think that it's either because I've got fake tan underneath here or because I put too much on here that it's kind of like um, kind of like ashy kind of vibes but it's fine we'll just use some concealer and it will be okay. Radiant Creamy Concealer by NARS, my absolute fave in the shade Macadamia and then I'm going to use this to brighten up my face a wee bit as well. So I'm just going to be blending the concealer in with my old beauty blender that is disgusting but I can't find my new one. I think that foundation looks really nice, new yeah, actually. So, that is the base on. Looking good. For a setting bar, I'm just going to be using my usual Laura Mercier Translucent Glow Powder. So the glow, difference between the translucent and the translucent glow is that the glow, this, has got like a colour to it and it's got a shimmer through it as well. Which I really like because I do like my face to be proper set matte all over um, but the glow gives it that wee bit of dewiness to it as well so I do like that a lot. I'm going to take the Doll Beauty Gimme Sun Bronzer in the shade of Dark bronzing up my face And then I'm gonna contour my nose. Okay, so next I'm gonna be using my Milani blusher in the shade Luminoso. And 
And then I'm just gonna add a wee bit of highlight, Doll Beauty Duo. It's shine bright. I use a little brush to put this on because we are very glowy already. And then I'm just gonna pass and put some of the brow. And then on the nose. So we're looking very glowy, tanned, and winged. And I like it. So to finish off the eyes, we're gonna take that blackberry colour on a petite eye blender blush from Jess up again. I'm fucking mirror up. What the fuck is going on? <sighs> Where's the fucking mirror at? Oh my god, I'm losing the fucking plot. I literally hit it in my hand. Got it. Okay. Right on the waterline. And I can help people didn't need their under eyes and didn't get it. I fucking love it. it. Just makes such a difference. It makes it look so sexy and sultry. Just so good. Cute. I'm gonna take a Luxe Crease Brush by Jess again. It's a 228. And I'm gonna take that fruity colour. And then blend with the edge of that. So it's just the exact same thing as the top, but just doing it on the bottom. I use side to side motions for under the eyes so they're circular because it, it kind of contains it a wee bit more. And start blending that wing out a wee bit as well. Shit. Ah, shit. Oh my god, I love it. I love it. Um, and then I'm going to go and I'm going to grab from the Carnival XL, this color here, Pink Me. And it is like a white, but we pink um, flex to it. And I'm gonna use that for my inner corner. Oh my God, I love it. Okay, so add mascara and then I'm gonna put on my lashes and then we'll get on the lips. So I'm gonna be, for lips, I'm gonna be using the MAC lip pencil in the shade Plum and the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Creme Brulee. Ew. Ew. So, I'm just going to line all your lips. So our lips are going to look like that. I really like that a lot. And then I'm just gonna chuck on my lashes. And that is the finished look. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we'll zoom out and we will have a look. So this is the final look and I am obsessed. I really, really like it. Like every time I boot it, I like all the products I use. I'm obsessed with that P. Louise bases, the color bases. I honestly kind of wait to use them more and do more looks for them. But I just, I really, really like it. Really, really like it. And how bonnie is my hair as well? Actually, I'll keep looking at it. I'm like, oh, it's just so much better. No more orange. <laughs> I really like it. This is kind of like my natural color. And then we just put some frame pieces in the front but I really like it. So if you've enjoyed my video give it a little thumbs up and a little subscribe and if you do end up trying out this makeup do let my cane tag me in photos or anything like that. Um, I think I spoke about all the products that I did use but if there's anything that you didn't see or I didn't mention um, just let me know and I shall um, put it in the box down below maybe. Probably not. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know, but thank you again for watching and I shall see you again next time. Bye!